basically what you're doing is, you know, giving an opportunity to, uh, to settle the matter before it's bought before the court because that, that attorney's looking at a frivolous charge, I believe, if you do it correctly. Because somebody mistake, I believe there's a mistake. Somebody thinks I claim liability for the name and I want to help you guys settle the matter. Oh, never make a counterclaim. You're the one making the claim in the first place and then you want to make a counterclaim? If you claim the name, now you just yeah. gave them up to judge all the evidence. You just gave them jurisdiction to handle the matter. Now you become surety for the case because you're the one with the claim on the name. The only reason they can't settle the charge is because they assume somebody's got a claim on the name. There's a controversy. And so the government mm -hmm. can't settle the account until it's cleared up. And you're coming in there to help them as a friend of the court and settle the matter. You say open. Um, well, you yeah. probably get, if it goes the way I understand it, the prosecuting attorney is going to want to have a talk with you. Then you just do, you know, there's a mistake in the matter or in the name. Somebody assumes, I take it by hand and me this piece of paper that I have a claim on the name. Which, where, where do you have evidence of that? Right there. Attorneys, if you've got any brains at all, it's not going to want to bring that before the judge. When I get up there, I, as far as I'm concerned, the only matter I want to point out is there's a mistake. I think that's key right there. Uh, when all yeah. is said and done, but with this new word there, open or parlay, might not even get before the judge, you know. The point of the matter is who's liable to settle the account on behalf of the name. Yep. And if you was, let's say, for instance, you want to bank and in court over the matter, just ask the judge, well, gee, judge, who's liable to settle the account for the name? The judge knows. There, he's a banker. That's all he is, really, if you come down to it. I went and got into court, and I did it, you know, I'm there for the matter, blah, blah, blah. And uh, the funny thing is, all the charges went to the prosecuting attorney. I didn't ask him to do anything. They just did it that way. And then I got another thing. That they were trying to bill me for uh, an appeal I was trying to do on another case. And that was funny. It, I, it just went through the uh, system because it came back. The order came back. Uh, it appears that the defendant is indigent. All taxes are to go to the state. Okay. Yep. They settled that matter, too. What evidence you have, I claim the name. Who, who, who's in charge of selling the yep. account for the name? That's the question. He knows. Yeah. Once you point out there's a mistake, well, everything is, the slate's clean. You're starting over again. The paper, yeah, it's hearsay. The judge. I'll put my balls <laughs> on the table. You're going to do yours? If you're not going to do yours, <laughs> point here. There's the controversy. Yeah. What, if that judge turns around and says, uh, you need to go talk to that guy over there, I said, Judge, would you mind if I go discuss this matter with that man over there? Answer him with a question. I'd like to use what little you tricks. You know, yeah, they, they do. Those gotta watch them. It depends on their attitude and your attitude, how it can go real smooth, or the judge could be, you know, say, hey, something ain't right with this guy, and he's gonna sniff it out. Like he calls you, is this you, gee, judge? Is this, what do you mean by you? Are you talking to me, or are you talking to you? Or are you talking to somebody yes. in here? You can call me friend, but I don't recall saying I'd answer to you, to you, having the uh, uh, ability to give firsthand knowledge if they're a controversy does, does arise in a matter. <coughs> I, I'd be down notified social services or whoever there's a mistake. Yeah. First hand knowledge. I said, I want to know who's in charge here. I'd be knocking on doors first off. Yeah. If that didn't work, then somebody's going to, I'd find out where they are if I could. And I, I might just go help myself. But I, I'd go that route first. I'd be knocking on doors, pointing out the mistake. I wouldn't even argue anything about what the charges are or anything. It's just there's a mistake. There might be a way to, to note on that certificate that uh, in the matter of the name, you know, peaceful inhabitant, I'd be signing yeah. it say peaceful inhabitant from now on. I wouldn't be putting down the name and signing the name. Father is yeah. peaceful inhabitant. Mother, peaceful inhabitant. That might make a big difference right there. They had a picture on their cell phone asking me if that's my picture and what's your name? And they were interrogating my boy. What's his name? And he says, well, he's right over there. Why don't you go ask him? And they wouldn't touch me until I messed up and I gave him jurisdiction.